So the Cuervo Games, tell me what, what is this all about because this is the first time you've been to Ybor City, Tampa actually. Yes, this is our first time coming to Tampa and we are absolutely excited to be here. We have an extreme sports competition of four different segments which I'll be happy to take you on a little bit later on a tour. Oh, we have to have the tour, absolutely. Yes, and the idea is, is that these, these teams of 40, we have 40 teams that are going to be competing, and those 40 teams, there's, we're going to narrow it down to eight finalists, and once we get to the eight finalists, the grand prize winner will win a trip to La Rojina, Mexico. So when they go to Mexico, do they get to make their own Corvo tequila? They will get to partake in the process. So tell me about this process, because there is this unbelievable agave plant. Yes, you have it right. The agave plant is what is required to make tequila. So we replicated an agave plant right back here. In case you don't know, it takes seven to 10 years to grow an agave plant to full maturity to be able to make the Jose Cuervo tequila. Seven to 10 years to mature. How long does it take to drink a shot of tequila? Well, I personally like to drink responsibly, so I'm going to say I don't drink shots, but I really enjoy margaritas. <laughs> well, that is awesome. Now, you were on a team today, correct? I was, I was. We did a, a team competition earlier, we called it Bar Wars, so we couldn't necessarily compete for the final grand prize for the trip to La Rojina. However, we were able to come and, and enjoy the competition. I personally did the waterfall climb, which we'll get to shortly. It was, it was a challenge. So how did you do? My team came in last. We came in dead last. Well, I guess, you know, there's a good part to that. I mean, you can't show up everybody else, right? Absolutely. We wanted everybody else to really enjoy themselves, and, and, and we didn't want to seem like we had an unfair advantage. <laughs> I love it. So, um, of course, Ybor Flavors, Ybor City, our National Historic Landmark District. How did you choose Ybor City? That is an amazing question. So we chose Ybor City because Tampa is the second largest market for Jose Cuervo tequila. And living here a couple years myself, we just know that people in Tampa love to have fun. Well, here in Ybor City, we love to have fun. Have you had a chance to experience any of the great nightlife, restaurants, and everything that we have here? I have. We've been in the market all week, so a lot of our agency folks, as well as myself, we have certainly spent our fair share of time in Ybor over the last few nights. So I am looking around and it's amazing to see everybody dressed up in their team outfits and then the Cuervo girls. Um, how do I get one of these t-shirts? We have an amazing consumer interaction that I will be happy to take you over to, Veronica. We've got two things. We've got tattoos that we can get and we can make a custom t-shirt. Well, I want a custom t-shirt. I think, you know, have Ebor flavors with Cuervo games. Love it. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So is this the famous machine where I'm going to get my own Cuervo Games t-shirt? This is the famous machine. We can make it say whatever you would like. So, what would you like it to say? I think we should keep it simple. Let's stick with Ebor Flavors. I think that will work. So, we have Casey who is going to go ahead and start it. Um, Melissa, tell me what she's doing. It's very simple. We've got a great system set up here. All we have to do is put in what you would like it to say on the shirt. We're going to print it right out. It happens very fast. And you've been doing this all day for all of the teams? All day for all of the teams, and then this is also something that the consumers that are coming in not competing can participate in as well. Uh-oh, it's upside down. Did I do something wrong? 
you did not do something wrong. It, for us to take it, actually, we'll take it over to the t-shirt press right here. Okay, now this is a press. So that's my t-shirt. This is a press. Yep, that's your t-shirt right there. So what Casey's going to do is she's going to go ahead and put it Ebor Flavors upside down so that it, when it comes out on the imprint, it will come out reading exactly what we want it to say. And then I have my own custom t-shirt. You have your own custom t-shirt. That means I could go ahead and participate. What if I win? If you win, you're going to La Rojina, Mexico. Oh, that's right. And then I can drink some Corva while I'm there. Yes, absolutely. We also have a tattoo station. So once we get done with our t-shirt, we'll work our way over and we'll go ahead and get a tattoo. I definitely want a tattoo. You know, Ybor City, we have some famous tattoo artists here in uh, Ybor. Yes, I have, uh, I've been over there doing a couple, putting some posters in the window over the last few days at some of those great tattoo shops, and they're all just so friendly. Okay, so how long does it have to stay on the press? It stays on the press for 60 seconds. I wanted to make sure it wasn't the 7 to 10 years like the agave plant. No, we, we, it should be nice and quick for us here. I think it's almost done, nice and hot. She's going to take it off there. Look at that. Wow, Casey. She did an excellent job. My own Ebor Flavors t-shirt, my first. Let's go get a tattoo. Melissa, so this is the tattoo table. What are my choices? All right, well, you have your custom t-shirt, so now we have to fully deck you out in tattoos. You can either get the Cuervo logo, we can get Cuervo Games 2011 with the Party Hard, Play Harder tagline, or you can get a tribal tattoo. Or if you are crazy, you can go for a combination of both. What about the tribal and the Cuervo? Maybe on my arm? I think that'll work great. Well, I've been working out. I've been taking boxing, so maybe we should just show off my arms. Let's do one for you. You get the Cuervo and the tribal, and I'll get the Cuervo Games 2011 party hard, play harder. And we have our tattoo artists here. We have April and Ashley. So let's get started. What's the process? Doesn't take very long at all. Let me hold your microphone for you. We're going to go on your right arm there. Do I make a muscle? <laughs> well, you should let it sit naturally. So there we go. We got the airbrush. It's nice and cool on this warm day, isn't it? I think we need to airbrush my entire body. It's hot. <laughs> I'm branded. <laughs> you are officially branded with Cuervo. Now let's get that tribal under. Are we going to go under or over on the tribal? What do you think? I think probably under. Let's go under. These girls are very experienced. I'm glad I'm in such good hands. You're in very good hands. Not quite as scary as going to a, an actual tattoo parlor with a needle, right? <laughs> exactly. And which one are you going to get? I'm going to go with the Cuervo Games 2011 Party Hard, Play Harder. So is this permanent? It'll wash off. All you need is a little bit of rubbing alcohol. You'll get it covered. Okay, That's so let's, let's do your tattoo now. I'm going to go on my left arm. Oh, wait, I got to get cleaned up. These girls are professionals. They are. They've done 15 events just like this right here. Okay, so let's. you going to do it on the arm? I'm going to go on the left arm here. Oh, I want to, I want to do the... The party hard, play harder one. I like that one. That's a good one, too. So here we go. We'll put it right perfectly placed. Ooh, that does feel nice. Nice and cool. Okay, so let's see. The girls are doing great. Where else have the tattoos been going? On people's faces, backs? Oh, we've had them everywhere. Arms are natural for the girls. We've had them on the back of the neck. We've had them on the front chest. Um, we've had them on the legs, anywhere that, that doesn't have clothes over them, people have tried to put them. Well, I think this is an amazing way to go ahead and brand us here in Ybor City with the Corvo Games. Let's see how we're doing here. Wow, that's pretty look? good. I think you look amazing. And he was still, oh, yep, there we go. Who's got bigger guns? All right, Here let's show go. those off. I think, I think you win, Veronica. You win. <laughs> you know what? Since I have the guns, I have the tattoo, and I have the T-shirt, let's go see uh, the games. Let's do it.
at game number one. Which one is this? This is the waterfall climb. I see somebody is going up there right now. What do they have to do? So this contestant right here is getting ready to go up. This rock wall is 30 feet high, and along it there's these four agave plants that they have to go ahead and pluck off as they're climbing up. And then in the meantime, there's going to be water coming down, hence the name Waterfall Climb. And then they get up to the top, ring the bell, scale back down, tag their next teammate, and get on to the next round. Now, is this exactly what they do in Mexico to produce a tequila? I think producing tequila might be a little bit more difficult than this. I, uh, I did it earlier today. It worked me out pretty hard. All right, here we go. Let's see it. Oh, oh. Actually, I'd like to be under that waterfalls right now. Yes, that would feel great. And this is based on time, right? Yes, so it's a relay obstacle course. So there's four people on each team, hence the four different obstacles. And once he finishes, he tags his next person, and then they keep going on, and the best time wins. So what happens when he falls like that? He just gets back up there and goes on again. And do you know, what's the best time, do you know? The best time overall so far that we've seen, I believe, is 2 minutes and 28 seconds that we've seen for the entire course. Now, this is what you did earlier, and you came in first place. I did do this earlier. Unfortunately, I didn't come in first. I came in the first place for last. <laughs> so he just fell again. Doesn't he have to get the last agave? Nope, that doesn't come down. That's just the bell that he has to ring. So he made it. And we're moving on to the second one. Let's check it out. This is the Agave Gauntlet. Once they finish the waterfall climb, teammate tags them, and they run down the Agave Gauntlet. They go on this nice inflatable piece. They jump over some Agave leaves right there. Then they go underneath some Cuervo barrels. I hear those are really tight. You need to be a little, little petite to get under those. And then they go through a little rope net, up a wall, and then down a slide to go over the stage. Well, let's go over the stage and see game number three. This is called the barrel roll. And what you'll see is contestants, there are three flags at the top that they need to go up and capture. They go up and take the first one, come back down. Oh, here we go, we have some action. Wow, look at those barrels. As they're tossing those barrels at him. So he's gonna take the first black flag on the left, come down, run back up, take the yellow flag, or I'm sorry, the black flag, and then get to the yellow flag. You know, this almost looks like Donkey Kong. Is this Mario? Where is the gorilla? The gorillas are right up there, those three gorillas throwing the barrels at them. <laughs> well, they look mean. I'm not sure if I want to go ahead and do this one. Look, how's he doing? I think he's doing pretty good. I think those shorts are helping him out. There he goes. So one more. Are we on? He's going to slide down right here and then tag his number four competitor right here. Here we go, last one. Which game is this? This is called the High Wire Harvest. So this contestant right here is running up the ladder rope right here. He's going to get to the top and then go along up on the High Wire Harvest. Halfway across, he has to grab five leaves from the agave plant. So what if you're afraid of heights? Is this one of the games you want to be involved in? This is not one of the games you want to play if you're, if you're afraid of heights. And he's got a contraption on him. Is that like a safety harness? He does, yes. Safety is a very good, very important piece for us as we're doing Cuervo games, I'm sure you can imagine. So all of our contestants wear safety gear, including knee pads, helmets, elbow pads, and then harnesses when they're up in the air on these devices. That is tough. Do they get a Cuervo cocktail when they're done? Hopefully they'll get one in Mexico. That's right, when they win. Yes, that was a really great time that he had up there. That is very impressive. What do we have now? We have the rest of the teams um, competing. Yes, so right now we have the rest of our 40 teams competing throughout the rest of the day. Again, we're trying to narrow it down to eight total. And then tonight at 7.30, we're going to have a free concert by B.O.B. We'll have the Maxim Hometown Hotties here, and that's when the eight teams will also go, so we can get the winner to go to La Rojina, Mexico. Okay, I am jealous. I really want to go ahead and do one of the games. Can I go ahead and maybe change into something a little bit more comfortable and try one of them? Let's see if we can get you on one of them. Let's go change. Ybor City really is flavored to suit any taste, even the tequila drinkers. And guess what, Melissa? I'm going to Mexico. Let's get you on the rock climbing wall to see if we can get you there. Here he comes, Mexico! Mexico!